Doom is all about having lots of effects, explosions, and the guns firing, fighting demons. So our particle systems were majorly improved. We have now more particles running on the GPU, taking advantage of the prowess of all the uh, computing power we have there, um, which allows us to have bigger explosions, more vibrant looking particle effects, and embers and, things, and more atmospheric and volumetrics, all running at 60 hertz. Speed is one of the most important things of playing in a Doom game, so and that takes a lot of effort from all departments. So on it takes six, I, I, we maxed it out to 250 frames per second. This game, if you have the hardware right, it could have hit 1,000 frames per second. That's the max we have. And there's really no upper limit. I've had, I had some hardware here locally that, have, that we built just for testing where we had scenes running in the 400 frames per second. So um, people who like have 144 hertz monitors or even the new monitors that you'll see coming out that are even above that, um, going forward, this game will hold up for many years and it will give you really amazing um, opportunities to, to leverage that hardware. Uh, I'm very confident that, that, that you'll be happy. I could talk about the CPU utilization. There's a lot of things that gamers care about. It's like, I bought this new Intel CPU. Does do games really use that? And we have made great strides on the CPU front. Um, so in ATX 6, it was very, very, very parallel means the, all the cores on the CPU were used, um, but there were still bubbles. There were little gaps of latency that like, oh, our jobs, which are basically functional um, little processes that we run, weren't alive. Think of it as like a jigsaw puzzle that, that, you, that you arrange every, every, every frame. That arrangement of that jigsaw puzzle wasn't as optimal as it could be. We rewrote our job system, and now we even use all the cores it more efficiently. One core was dedicated to do the scheduling. Now we don't need that. Do that anymore. We use all the cores, and that jigsaw puzzle in the Tech Seven is now is very tight. It will scale with the hardware that you have, all the way from very old hardware all the way to the newest that may not even be in the market, which is very exciting because that allows us, it gives us future proofing of the engine, um, and it allows the user to really uh, feel that in the in the output of the title, like the frame rate, because you take full advantage of what you have. Many, what we've had seen in, in the past is you have a great rig and the game runs a certain way. You upgraded your hardware, it may not run better. Well, with ITEC 7, you should see, every time you upgrade your hardware, you should see massive improvements in performance, which is, uh, which is very exciting to me because I like to upgrade my hardware frequently and knowing that the tech we write is future-proof uh, is very cool. How, how do we get a run on the Switch? We make sure that the game runs well on all the platforms, and that means making sure that we have very scalable software that allows us to dial in how the CPU cores, uh, the GPU on the, on the lower end platforms, that we can basically dial our engine to, to tune it so it works on those platforms. Now, we have to make some concessions. It may not run as fast as it may run on Xbox One X or, or PS4 Pro, but since the engine is so scalable, making those changes are, are less difficult than you may find with other engines. So how do we improve uh, the technology to take better advantage of uh, the new Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro? There are lots of ways we, we did. Obviously, we have much higher resolution that we render at. Um, we, we now have HDR in the Tech 7, which takes full advantage on all the platforms. So HDR is going to be a big win there. Um, we also take much better utilization of the extra memory we have on those platforms, meaning we can push higher fidelity textures, we can um, prevent uh, drawn distances or geometric detail to diminish later, whereas on previous gen um, or earlier uh, consoles, the distance may be shorter. So now things can be a little further, you re retain that crisp look. Um, other things are better post-processing effects, more detailed anti-aliasing, more higher quality motion blur, things of that nature. That's why um, we're well positioned for them to run, so we're really excited about that because that will just lead to more bombastic gameplay, more intricate AI behavior, way more cool environmental effects, uh, maybe modifying the lighting, having, having uh, global illumination being dynamic. There are lots of opportunities that we have on our new hardware and we're super excited to, to, to go on that front. It Tech 7 will run really nicely on the next gen platforms. Um, yes, it will, it will, we have some things planned on that front that, that will make gamers 
be really, really happy and will be really impressed. So rather than rather not spoiling it, <laughs> well, we have some really cool plans for that, those platforms and you just have to stay tuned for those.